Out of Baltimore's violent crime crisis and the governor's new push for what he calls truth in sentencing, making sure repeat violent offenders actually serve most of their sentences behind bars. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren reports. The governor faces obstacles taking away judges' discretion and balancing rehabilitation with a tough on crime approach. I promised that I never wouldn't go back to jail. And I just came home. Three years ago, Greg Thomas spoke to WJZ just before turning himself in for shooting Baltimore City Police Sergeant Keith McNeil. In May, a judge sentenced Thomas to life plus 35 years, meaning he won't ever walk these streets freely again. But some argue Thomas should never have been out to begin with. Just months before he shot Sergeant McNeil, he'd been released from prison early in a case where he killed a man. That murder happened here on Chester Street. The judge sentenced him to the maximum 30 years, but then suspended half of it right away. He earned other credits for taking classes and behaving himself, and in the end, he served less than 10 years, a fraction of that original sentence. It's cases like Thomas's that have the governor demanding change. And, uh, they'll say, we're going to give you the, a, a man, uh, mandatory sentence of three years, but we're going to waive the entire, suspend the sentence and give you probation. That's not you know, what the uh, law intended. State Senator Jim Brochin is on the Judicial Proceedings Committee. It is the biggest safety threat in the state. Uh, appalled is an understatement. The best idea I've heard so far is if we start tracking the judges who are giving these sentences out, these light sentences out, and make them accountable. A Pew study showed the amount of time Maryland inmates were serving actually increased from 29 months in 2005 to 35.7 months in 2014. But truth in sentencing legislation will be a tough sell for state lawmakers. University of Baltimore criminologist Dr. Jeffrey Ian Ross. We've seen uh, numerous states uh, implement it and it does not have the desired effect. He says truth in sentencing has been around for decades and research shows it can actually lead to more people behind bars. In Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. The governor has not yet provided details of his proposed legislation.